And when you see this, the, the way how they don't structure them produce, you will really see say, they did not depend on nothing, and only them produce and depend on. So I think that uh, one of the things that they will give me a lot of motivation for saying, I mean, we self can do the same. Salon got a history of um, of uh, cacao in the world. Um, as I tell you, very recently, of all these big countries, we are able to get, uh, we are able to be among the countries that the world we we in the book of excellence now Paris. Uh, that don't tell you, see, we have an understanding of how for deal with this crop, the, the cacao especially. Waiting at some of the agreements with the produce monitoring board and the investor they are make, Dr. James Vibi again. We get a lot of agreement with the Ivory and Cocoa board. We don't agree for the, we get the quality assurance, we then get for can do some training. We will finalize that in the next couple of months with the can. And also there is something we we'll call certification in produce sector. That is for deal with the international standards, conventions with the international buyers and, uh, for instance, the EU market, the, the American market, the various international markets and the standards that we really don't form. How, as a nation, we go we go meet those criteria, then get for also provide training for that. They, we don't talk them at principle, we don't agree. We get for concretize them and get a lot of uh, agreement with them. Apart from the cocoa board of itself, investors then they way they are Ghana like uh, the Africa sourcing and another one them. We don't get to understanding where they get for can do a kind of um, visit a felicitation visit for understand how we market the and then foresee the potentials of areas where they go involved in. Dr. James Ubi Kayon said if 40% of the civil servants then begin to agriculture business inside the next two years, salon economy go go past out in there now. People their own mindset for change. If every civil servant way in at this country, just 40% of civil servants and workers, public workers everywhere, say that they grow, let's say, two acres of cacao, coffee, or cashew, and they tell you in the next two, three years, we'll get more than two to 300,000 tons. You know what that means? It's add up to the economy of this country to the point that we no go need any other thing. But what we need for that and for able for grow the cacao in a volume, because we volume very small, and not competitive at all. We they produce something like 16 to 17,000 tons. We're very, very small now, just like one farmer in your output in the Ivory Coast. So we, 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 we get the land, we get the vegetation. In fact, we get one of the best soil for produce. We get one of the best flavor where you grow uh, cacao here. Dr. James VB end up say, then go begin implement what in the Rongo land at Ivory Coast so that cocoa production go improve na the country. And Seth say, then go begin put law them, we go make farmer them benefit from them, produce them. For the Society for Radio Democracy, you know, Kabia the report. The program is still listening to. Now, good morning, Saloni. They come to you from the Society for Radio Democracy 98.1 FM. Alex, it's surprising the, the, the season would enter so this morning. Yeah, of course. This is next week, myself, weekend. I begin again. I say, wow. Good end. We want to be so clear now that Nanet, the hot will be there. You put anything we necessary for use, whether it's fan, whether it's AC. The hot be still overcome the thing in the way they use. So we we'll just realize, so thank God we don't come back to a season where productive, particularly for agriculture. And the challenge for water business, I should say, could be an end now when the rainy season don't start. And also, I'll be go through social media. I see people don't they say, people when they say the ground dry, the ground they can soak. <laughs> yeah, soak because this, you know, the water not run. They just soak the ground almost, so... <laughs> all right, all right. The program is still listening to now. Good morning, Saloni. They come to you from the Society for Radio Democracy 98.1 FM. We look at other issues at the program now. Aside for long term now, the World Bank be done to give couple to Salon as support for implement different projects them across the country. Well, this being them, World Bank don't give but 10 million United States dollar to the Ministry of Trade and Industry for implement the Sierra Leone Agro Processing Competitiveness Reports Osai, the World Bank manager and salon say this couple for help promote private sector and self boost agriculture na the country. We report that Usman Kamara gets more on this and go report. Over the past year now, the trade and industry sector na salon only gets plenty challenge. We make them only fair and difficult for carry on with them work. As we for tap them challenge here, the Ministry of Trade especially SMEs who create self employment support revenue generation for government and contribute to poverty alleviation in Sierra Leone. 
Our government is here to promote more trade, open up the market so as to allow more players and discourage monopolies, make it easy for businesses to thrive and prosper. To achieve this, Mr. Chairman, that in the context of being relevant and competitive, my ministry is currently putting a system in place which requires the harmonization of the tax regime with the Minister of Finance, simplification of clearing of goods at the port in collaboration with the Ministry of Transport. We be the talk. The World Bank manager and a saloon, Gil Martin, say World Bank don't give but 10 million United States dollars for carry on with this project. At the request of the government of Sierra Leone, the World Bank is financing this uh, project in the amount of 10 million US dollars. The project's objective aims to improve the business environment in the agribusiness sector and increase productivity in targeted agri-processing firms in Sierra Leone. The project's underlying theory of change addresses issues that are really key in uh, parts of the failures that we've seen namely around enabling business environment for investments, strengthening institutions, improving firm productivity that are critical elements to catalyze investments in this sector. And for this reason, the project has two key areas of focus, one investment in the enabling environment and the other investment in improving firm level uh, productivity and competitiveness. Inside in keynote address, the Minister of Finance, Jacob Jusu Safase, over the past year, plenty projects they not do well because of the kind way how people can manage them. We make it say the ministry don't set up body, we will look inside all projects them with the kind of saloon. Performance rates in terms of project implementations have been generally poor. Virtually every project will have to do extension. I think since I came, for all existing projects, I've asked, I've requested for extension, six month extension. Why? Because we couldn't spend the money. Now, on our side, what have we promised? What did we promise the bank? In addition to the arrangement that are defined in different project appraisal documents, the Ministry of Finance is setting up two structures one at the technical level. Let's go to the chairman, the financial sector, all project coordinators, not only for the World Bank project, for all projects for the IFIs. The technical committee on project implementation is going to meet every month with the same metric, not with the metrics. Sometimes we get delayed in project just because of the recruitment of the staff who the minister does not want. It gets stuck. Dr. Martin Bunda, now the project coordinator for the Sierra Leone Agro Processing Competitiveness Project. He end up assuring the Minister of Finance and the World Bank manager say then go work together with other agencies them for make sure say this project succeed. For the Society for Radio Democracy, Mina Usman Kamara, the report. The program you're listening to now, Good Morning Salon, and they come to you from the Society for Radio Democracy 98.1 FM. From the World Bank support to the Ministry of Trade, where they go to other AI and they get for do the bridge now, Juba. Beside this BNTM president, Bio been pulling now do the new bridge within Juba, we now name Sengbe Pier Bridge. And this bridge will get a lot of um, discussion for the name. Besides, some people will get concerned about the city and change name and all that. This will make ready democracy. We go talk to the Freetown City Council, we're responsible for the giving name to streets, bridge, and other um, area them we the, within the Fruiton municipality. Mm -hmm. We make the deputy mayor and the Fruiton City Council, Councillor Usman Toloko Masse. One, the one them we give the name, Najuba Bridge, not go through the Fruiton City Council procedure them. And say then all them they give name to institution them or street to people that wouldn't walk in the city. He talk more inside this interview to Theodore Arena. First and foremost, um, we'll get a committee, what we call assessment committee. And that committee, they, they end oversee the valuation department of the Fruta City Council, and at the same time, the estate department. And uh, we post in field, say, if on name street, you get a street where you want name. If you come to the council, you apply. See, I want name street. I want to give a name to a street. When you apply, the application form, then they give form where they fill. They pay for the form 50,000. After I don't fill the form, then go send this form to the committee. The committee go invite the person through the application letter we write. The committee, they call the person to interview. After the interview, the committee, they go to the ground for go assess what you talk 
by the interview they interview they go access that go, they go do fact finding we look at the, the street around them whose activity we do they in terms for develop them how the community people are there within that road they how they, they, they appreciate you for giving them to the street these are things that we the committee will access for after all we don't do all the assessments through the application way mr y or mr x apply without a fit cs this person qualify for name the streets from this name to this name this person waiting and talk about it correct okay but if we have counter motion somebody counter emotion say no this street why the one which they call for which reason the engagement go day until it meets the prerequisite conditions with councils and go do our records as council okay in the case of the single pair bridge let me go through that process there no we in fact as a council we surprised we were able to name or naming of a single pair bridge but notwithstanding we the only thing that we now without doubt the naming of the bridge we don't ever inform we never bring that to our attention you know we have a day in fact we the president go for go the first crossing of the bridge and then the president do the first crossing then all of the sudden now we are sitting draw the black when they put on overhead to see the same way your name and of course you know consult we we know we are of it and uh, you know go through that procedure the way we go we go through so for we we know say the people of which will ask a lot of questions what if it is the council do the city council do this thing all the funny stuff that they these are issues that we are think we feel say they raise up towards council would they expel central government for letting them do anything with regard to municipality when they don't consult we suppose for consult we because they vote we in for some people of town and then they oversee the activity and for work in line to, in coordination we then expect them to do that for you will be a very positive service delivery to the people of town in regards to the concern the way um freedom people at all <laughs> the name of the Senge Pier bridge still stand well by my discussions with me with, with, with superior that me boss they engage them by i think communication they say well it was just a bridge when the old bridge today like i did the, the new bridge we didn't construct now in the Pier bridge so we don't able to understand why uh, we can get a two name to a particular bridge because if they be consult we we go sit down we look at the history look at the history the historical heritage of these two names the Senge Pier and the was just in the one that we get history for free town we, we understand we will compare we look at the areas with particular person in name supposed for suit because we look at the history of this country she will be a one who says that historic uh, figure will do something very good for this country but it must be a region we are not even more in history embedded we are like bond we are fixed that they more we feel say is, is strong like it will just see all that the governor that is called this, this, this free town and he do a lot of things for uh, with regard to the city so these are history things we for look at and for advice we will not consult we what you will say and central government is to pursue everybody and we will look to them for look says yes and they have everything and we will be them if you feel say if you go the right channel as we expect some mom ready for ready with them together um one way go the list we go once for no waiting at the penalty where the freedom city council can give so people away just can go erect name as on certain streets eh? well like the erection of certain streets names and they because we check we get time okay i do assessment for check with archives to look at names away legal we're not legal the only way not legal we're not illegal same post we could just go pull and look come out we're not going to anybody because if the person show because most of them they hide the balance and then they agree for let we see them as no say council they come then they should face again they ask, anybody may ask no good to see as opportunity put on yeah so what we put on for the able to find them in a army day so that kind of day you know come through the council and you have a country council now on a legal, legal sign post and then they want to win an illegal sign post keep pull them off and we can ask the community people and say we want people for name the streets people who qualify if you don't qualify we can say can come and give name to streets you know what for name who feel say you don't serve the community or that particular day can be a renewal or not permanently yeah well uh what we don't give no you know already we don't give no you know already again we don't give you if you legal or you know what you call you don't know you don't do it fixed in name na councillor Usman Tolokoma, in the deputy mayor na the Fruiton City Council, we be the talk to Theodore Arena inside that interview. The Osai he talk about council and position, but the name we the Juba Bridge get we now na Shengbe Pier. And self, within the procedure we people the more institution for go through before the name streets, bridge or road na Fruiton. The program na Good Morning Salon, and they come to you from the Society for Radio Democracy, 98.1 FM. We'll continue the program. Don't forget you can send message to the number zero seven seven nine eight one nine eight one or go now with the Democracy ninety eight point one Facebook page and drop your message but in them we we they talk about inside the program this morning. We they look at other issues now, so we they go now the drivers union as the anti corruption commission ACC still investigate the national president and executive member them for this union because they get for answer to question them we get for do with alleged corruption and misuse of money then we the member then say then people have been involved but we're now the national auditor for the motor drivers union we now Mal malaya conte i don't say as then the planner for getting election for pick new executive member them the member them is say we go win the election for help for address the plenty challenge them where he said the union don't get for long term now he explain more inside this interview with princess pierce
anti-corruption we don't investigate and then we don't charge the matter to court since the 11th november 2018 and up till now we still they go on with that particular matter in a court or as it is for now the union is still ongoing although some aggrieved member them this bntm they've been take the president in alpha maduba to court on a civil matter say in not a member of this organization and because of this, we spent two months and ten days before the Honorable Justice Alusan CC. So we've been there for a while because we have we've been there about for get the election. Now the court matter na in being given an injunction. So the president for cease for be for act as president, then at the same time if for keep off the union office. But the Central Executive Council will charge with the day-to-day -day responsibility of the union. And continue for one the organization till we will get the ruling on the 10th of this month when April. We will say we will go to election a month from that particular day, the winner the tenth. That means say the tenth of next month we will get election. These issues of this presidency and non presidency, the issues we wanna get with the union up till now. What's in an impact so far we don't create? Also and also within the organization, you know that much. Imagine the union we go up to 17 districts where they exist within we own arrangements. And the members them within the Central Executive Council, they don't see within the footprint of this man within Mr. Alpha Madoba we make. Then all the rally behind and fully get in second time because they know see if we come for the second time we will go for do more better thing than for the organization and the drivers them as a whole. We know say drivers and they get challenged and concerned them way like the king want for be addressed and the union now they in splits you get subsection some section day. So like what do you think say na the best option we go bring everybody to one and address the issue on the gates? Get a the function of responsibility. For every pack where you see we get a semi man executive way they exist there from a chairman, secretary, finance, auditors and organizers come up to the district, then self they exist. Come up to the national secretariat, everybody did the work. So for any problem we ever get, in four spots of call, now to the unit executive, we in the under as parking gun. If the problem they above them, then they refer them to the district executive, then self they step in for sell them able for handle them. If they self not able, then they refer them now to the national secretariat for redress. And so the union they operate. So if one, two people get problem at the council or any other problem like oh, get this anti-corruption matter, other people in the way they run the union on in that. Any it's within their own issue, then they communicate at the national secretariat. Okay, now we will get to an election. What do you want to foresee? Well, we want to foresee a peaceful and credible election. Now, in make this time around, we call the National Electoral Commission win our neck as a neutral body because when somebody they accuse you, of some theory you know be you will be more transparent and you will be more open up so this time around we call for neck whether the national electoral commission for can conduct the election well that's not the national auditor for the motor drivers union maulaya conte be the talk and that interview with princess pias for the election where they come inside may this year the program is still listening to now good morning salon let me listen to this commercial break and can continue the program Salon Commercial Bank don't come with new banking products them for make life easy. With Million Online Bank and Million Mobile App, you can able for use Salon Link money transfer for send money to anybody in lucky like nuggets bank account. Transfer or receive money na the same bank or any other bank. Transfer money to person or office in lucky like nugget account number. Buy extra light. Pay other bill them and now get advanced salary. You no need for worry again but almost money dinner you earn. Because you can able for pay for things the way you buy in a supermarket and other shop them with the quick response code payment. Your bad don't done for we boss man them. With we own online direct, you can upload salary, pay all your supplier them, sell forex to salon commercial bank and watch your account anytime. If you need the app, download them from Google Play Store or any Apple store or go on salon commercial bank website www.slcb.com Sierra Leone Commercial Bank Delivering God Sierra Leone Commercial Bank You win an innovator We want to bring change You get passion and zeal for do something And inside you there We don't look for you because you time don't come 
Salon Cable Limited believe the Tkankwe technology and innovation get for make business and economy grow in Tinap Tkangawan for developments where go come with money and sell cap the launch for the first time, then tech startup challenge. For you will want to be part of this program, now for send your business idea and team them what you sabi make. For tap the problem them inside book learning, well body business, agriculture and energy. Send your application to startup at salcap.sl and member say April 30 na the deadline for all application. For no more, call 079-923-524. Salcap, connecting innovators to endless opportunities. The program is still a listen to now. Good morning, Saloni. They come to you from the Society for Radio Democracy 98.1 FM. And we tell you earlier at the studio today, Radio Democracy, they talk to the chairperson of the Human Rights Commission, we are now Madam Patricia Nasu Danema. And there this morning, they can't tell you about the plan them where it gets for set the, the plan the way it gets for continuing with the work at the Human Rights Commission. Good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning. Thank my, you for inviting me. My pleasure for getting here for the very first time since your appointment. Thank you again. Well, idea this morning as I tell you now for cancelling about the Human Rights Commission and plan them way it bring Canada the Commission for continuing with their work. If people can remember the Human Rights Commission come into existence inside 2004 after the TRC report, we been sure say plenty of people where they were been there salon. The work come because people be the feel say other people them not be the respect the human rights them. We be make the Truth and Reconciliation Commission TRC me recommend among many other things and say the country forget a human rights commission. We for the look inside human rights issues and the country and the mandates for the human rights commission mainly now for promote and protect people and human rights in a salon well from that end to now the commission don't they do different things them also they can pull reports for talk about seeing them where they happen at the country pattern in human rights this is not the new chairperson where the commission don't get as i introduced some earlier we in madam patricia nasudanema um a day this morning for tell about the commission in work so from that background the way i don't give listeners them how the commission don't they operate for ensure say them protect and promote human rights issues in the country. Okay, thank you very much for the question. I sure say you don't already give a very good background on how the Human Rights Commission they operate and even how the Human Rights Commission form. Just for taking you right into the work of the commission, the commission divide first of all into various directorates. We get the Directorate of Investigations and Legal Services. We get with directorate for public education. We also get monitoring and research. And under the directorate, then they we also get regional services. And we also get various units them where they work with women and children, and also business and human rights. Now the various uh, directorates and then the way the commission gets. But all the directorates, they're all very important. But the one way really paramount. Now we directorate for complaints, investigations, and legal services. We make the commission it does them open to anybody we feel say they're violating rights that not the acts that will be caused by government officers mm -hmm. or even we feel say they're not abusing rights. The doors of the commission open you to go to the investigations and legal services. You make a complaint where the commission will document them and forward the complaint to appropriate authorities or even deal with them, especially in a situation where you complaint admissible or where you complaint for them within the jurisdiction of the commission. Now, I want to talk about the jurisdiction of the commission. Even though we are human rights institutions, we get areas then where we're not the touch at all. For example, if you go back to the, to the constitution of this country, we find out, say, section 3, they deal with the human rights, civil and political rights of citizens in this country. All the rights that we for under that section, they the commission they look at them. You also get for no say, we are also a state party to several international conventions then. For example, we talk about CEDO, we talk about Convention on the Rights of the Child. We talk about the Convention on Disabled Persons. And all the other ones there. So all the rights they also with for don't inside and that. Then they within the commission in jurisdiction. So when you look at the laws then, then you find out, say, somebody don't violate my rights from this point. Or somebody don't abuse my rights. Then they, they within the commission in jurisdiction. So you can come forward and make a complaint. But we get the side and where the commission not go touch if you go to complain for that. If you find out, say, when you be the introduced, say the commission came to existence in 2004. So if you get a case, where be by August 2004, where don't happen a long time ago, the commission not go take that day because you incident not happen before the commission came to existence. Then also, if you get a case in a court 
where they're in the process right now, they, or where they don't decide over, they don't pass judgment, you not go take that kind of case they give face and come to the attention of the commission. The commission not get jurisdiction over that one day, but get jurisdiction over all the laws them where the country and a state party to. It also get jurisdiction over all the acts that the country. That means the acts, acts them where the, the country don't domesticate following the international ratification of various conventions them, and also all the provisions there inside the 1991 Constitution on the human rights. Right. So if person don't go to court, for example, a mm. carry in case we get for doing human rights, but at the end of the day, judgment don't pass, but the person still feels say he not get justice. Mm -hmm. He can go to the human rights commission. No, well, that's that I don't say earlier. Now the area that way the human rights commission not get jurisdiction over because court don't take. I know say they talk about the satisfaction where the person they get, yeah. but once the decision don't be taken by the court, they don't pass judgment. Human rights commission not go can overturn such a decision. We not get jurisdiction over that. In terms of human rights, waiting at the current situation as salon, in terms of people observing the company human rights, top to bottom or bottom to top? Well, if you look at them um, from the, if, you, if I look at them uh, nationally as a country, we know they use, because we don't see situation where things that happen at one corner, you see people then go say, we're not getting human rights in this country. Not so so we they assess the human rights situation of a country. When you they look, assess the human rights situation of a country, they look at nationally, for example. You then look at the structures, then first of all, the government don't put in place for so make sure, say, people then go go say for, for redress. Meaning, if something happened to Musa Gorongo, then they say, where they see, say, where they rape picking, and till we may not collect for talk about self. You get people then say, on a little Gorongo quick in a rainbow center. If you see where they say, look, oh, this is an early marriage, they want to force them for going married. You go see them say, no, for what they matter, a family support unit. If somebody get case, it is say, you know, it's in, I want to go find lawyer, but I don't get money. You go see, you say, you are big. Look, go find legal service. Look, go find legal aid board. Person get case. You go see, say, they look for court, they look for police. So all these structures that the government they put in place, number one. Now, if you they look at and they launch them, you say, all right, at least government they promote human rights. So if you want to assess the human rights situation of a country, not to isolated case you they use. Now, the structures the way government put in place as redress mechanisms for help people and for solving problem. Oh. But if you look at the human rights situation of the country, I mean, we still get issues around. Then there's here now, uh, even for the past months, where they find out, say, Cases of rape them. People they still they get complaints about them. Even though we don't get laws then away the government don't put in place. I know go actually get statistics now, but even at the level of human rights commission, where they see one or two where they drop in, although we actually refer to the appropriate authorities. When they be look at issues of early marriage, we get for doing speaking them. We get series of cases, and as I they speak so now, we team Nabo, then they run after several cases them of early marriage, even the way laws they don't pass. You see? Then we also look at issues around women. Up to now, women's participation in politics. We don't see a woman, they see the crowd for men and get 30% representation in politics. But we all know, say, up to now, we still get constraints on the areas. Then they. We also look at issues of security issues, crime rate in the country, all sort of very high. So we get a lot of other concerns. All right, when you take over as chairperson for the Human Rights Commission, you meet the commission, like um, a grade A status. Yeah. How you plan for maintaining that status there? First and foremost, a good first lay, you get each, um, several provisions they will highlight under the Paris, Paris principle, how human rights institutions they will operate. And you also get for look at several activities that will go put in place for make sure, say, you, you meet up your grade status. First of all, we don't plan for this particular year. The commission already get an established vision. And we're not going to really say we they shift away from that. But how we go able for achieve our own vision, when they talk about one for see a Sierra Leone where the culture of human rights prevail, the people respect the, the rule of law, and also live in dignity. The first I'll go look at now resource mobilization. We therefore know say the Human Rights Commission supported by government. But again, the commission also get the rights for make they also raise funds for themselves. So whatever plan I can talk about now or, elabor or elaborate plan I can talk about now, if we're not get money, we're not going to implement it all. For make we reach what is expected of us at the international level. So the first thing the commission right now they back on serious resource mobilization. Over the years, we get what we call with traditional partners them. Where they are whatever the situation, then they be at the commission, then go support we. But we find out, say again, then support to the commission to have one or two reasons that actually dwindle. But quite recently, we still don't engage them and we don't see positive signs. So then say they're ready for comeback in terms of supporting the commission and all the activities the way we they do. Then we also will try for embark on serious legal literacy. We get for no say 
we get we get we we, we stick key stakeholders them especially a part of government when are then supposed to make sure say they meet their human rights state obligations but we don't find now say in many situations some of them know i'm sorry to say because they're very busy not by get time so for no really waiting on the provisions in the laws then where they suppose for make sure say people they enjoy so one for and en en back on serious legal literacy we want carry along with stakeholders them for make them not obligated to the people of this country we also look at extensive community sensitization we know so they do one before but this time we want to make sure say, we touch every soil inside this country Every soul inside this country. So when they go to various locations, them they will even try for beef up with mobile complaint system, because over the past years we not been get that. And a lot of people because of the distance and the various areas the way the commission locates, not to all my cable access the commission. So this mobile complaint system go get opportunity where the commission they move and go to different areas them where people then go access them and make them complaint. We also get for look they try for look at facilities the way we say go put in place especially in various regions then for example we get limited representation at regional level but you know say then there's that we don't get new area work on northwest the other back when they try for set up a structure there. so now all of them things that we put together now we go able for use for respond for able to catch up back to the accreditation status and i'm going to say catch up we still lady all right so we'll come back to you madam nandema danema bottom now we go for short um, message but well, when we come back we have a look at how you plan for look at the constitutional beliefs within the the laws and we make the human rights commission how you plan for hold on to that and they ask few questions in relation to yourself in your work but let's take this short break and come back and continue the discussion better don't come better don't come now union scores bank again your salon bank oh. Bank get plenty products and services them for you. You must get what you want to go better. Let me save it account, it is. Current account, it is. Fixed deposit account, it is. Credit facility, it is. All for you. Me and you. Me and you. You don't trust bank, that's a loan for me. Future savings account, it is school fee savings account, it is pay advance salary skin day. We branch and they all of us not alone. Oh, cannot get them now. We did Kabala Maboro Kakabia. We did Jala Free Town Lunsa. We did and my lengthy one. Me and you. Union Trust Bank. Me and you. Union Trust Bank. Union Trust Bank. That's alone. Union Trust Bank, empowering Sierra Leonean businesses. The program is still a listen to now. Good morning, Saloni. They come to you from the Society for Radio Democrats 98.1 FM. Now, the studio this morning, we get Madam Patsky Shadna Sudanema, and now the chairperson for the Human Rights Commission. They are for tell you about the strategy them way in the use under in leadership for make sure say people and human rights then protect and respect them and the con scheme. Um, I'll come over to you again. Before we take that short commercial break there, you'll be the talk about resource mobilization when I want the kids in them where you say you leadership, get for and back on for ensure say unable for raise revenue for the commission. Let me look at the political will. How you go describe the political will towards supporting the commission for ensure say when I get couple for run the commission. I didn't get the question you asked me. First of all, the Human Rights Commission, even though people like you say this is an independent commission, now government setter, now a government institution, and government supports for support the Human Rights Commission financially. If you go back to what we call the Paris Principle, then are the guidelines on how Human Rights Commission they operate. It clearly states that for the government they for support the operations of national human rights institutions, of which Saluna one. Well, we want for make a categorically clear say. As at the time when we just come back so as chairperson of the Human Rights Commission, when we not engage the government within these past months, all the money is when we pending, when the government not been getting given to the commission for one or two reasons, we are not able for states like that, we don't already get our money. But that will make a very clear say, government they only pay the salaries of workers, 
then also they get subvention and subvention and the population are also used for one the commission. But if you look at the expanded activities now that they have put in place, we're not going to touch that kind of money, we're not going to do. So we said that they use the opportunity for those of source funding from external donors. But for now, we go send in support to the government. I will put it like 60 percent. But then said not assure we say they will they did not for support the commission full blown. Interference from government into such kind commission them. Now one way can be challenged for let the commission go able for carry on within function. From what you don't take over to now, any sign or thing that happen will like na interference from government official into the affairs of the commission. Well for that to not happen, it's actually not thirteen days. Like the issue we talk about interference, then they actually, you know, say the state get your obligation. We want to respect, protect, and fulfill human rights. So the respect aspect on the part of government for human rights is now for make sure say we not see the government, we go to try for interfere into the affairs of the commission or for human rights, or also for curtail the enjoyment of human rights, like for people them. But what we don't can now so for almost 13 days, I'm not able to sense that yet. You talk about complaints when you come specifically they have complaints which type of complaints when i don't meet now the commission more? well for example uh, like when i don't cancel the first one which is actually get for the child care we actually concerned about picking them, about man then we get picking them, but they totally abandon them even though so go deal without a level of family support unit the commission is get a very good referral partnership with the police but we can also handle them case the day and some of them we found that the family support unit and make serious follow-up for make sure see Papa them become responsible to the picking away the bond. Then we also get cases of early marriages. I talk and just also we team even then are, are in the field right now. They try for pursue some matters that we we concern that one day. Then we also get issues of uh, work related issues, especially for security companies. Them we still employ people at this country without giving them I mean employment letter and just sack the ladder without giving them any benefit. For me, observation what come recently is surround really picking the security companies for me. Recent observations. What about the issue of police and the, the, the civilian relationship, the ordinary people relationship, the way police they respond to issues, particularly political issues? Mm. How the commission on the assess some of the activities in the country? I said the activities of the police. Well, I me, mean, I go look at them from the point of view that uh, the commission already get an MOU with the police. Because when I can look at all the policies and that actually now put in place in relation to the people who they collaborate with. Because if you go back to the Commission Act, the police right there, for say police now one possible for collaborate with. So I not really meet any major issue or go so get issues with police. Because every month the commission get a team of some police the way they can actually come together for discuss cases that we can the commission to the police and they see how police go able to help them for make sure say the issues that they address and I get very positive feedback based on my findings. Now in the area of political um, activities before, during and after the twenty eighteen election, mm -hmm. you be get a lot of um, activities the way some people describe as human rights violation and um Report on the don't know they come up from the Human Rights Commission. So far, when you come, you don't really look into the issues, and or you don't see anything in relation to political violence or political activities where the commission feels say certain sets of people or certain sets of institutions they violate another set of institutions or people. Certain sets of people they violate the rights of other people. You people, mean? Yes. Well, what you mean know is that not say the commission. Even me, I mean participate because I come back for make sure say I contribute towards the political development of the country. The commission be actually set up like a situation room. Also, they be get complaints of cases that would have come about. But personally to me, not, not clearly spell out about violation on the part of the police. But that be therefore be on the part of some part, party supporters them. Now that they may be no say be happen at the commission. Well they say be trying for address one or two. And I know they do several engagements. And even that's after that, say for post elections, we commission commission also just complete awareness raising sensitization with police officers them all over the about in, in six districts on how them for control themselves during elections and even after. The 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 Human Rights um, Act specifically talk about the tenure of commissioners, chairperson, and all that. And um, you being the new commissioner and going through Parliament, the discussion within Parliament out of parliament with your appointment and particularly three commissioners mm -hmm. we some people believe say then tenure not done it mm -hmm. 
and um, nobody no the right to pull them. You concerned with you being the chairperson now, get for a look at the human rights of people and relate them to um, grade A status where the country gets it. It will affect you, or you also concerned with the job where they can do? I concern about everything. Because Mr. Seven will be the commissioner and me not the chairperson. And the future is yet unknown. But uh, I want to make something very clear, first of all, on the newly constituted commissioners that we five. You know, you have to look at them from, say, around August, the Office of the Attorney General will put out an advert. We ask citizens of this country for nominate people that where they feel competent for serve in the position of commissioners. So nominations were made. And after the nomination, they, they make them. We also been there for get an interview approximately around the 12th of November at the Office of the Attorney General and Minister of Justice, where the panel be constitute women's groups, civil society organizations, interreligious leaders, traditional leaders, labor congress, and a whole lot of other ones. We go through that rigorous interview day and complete them. And after that, we be also supposed for get we names then gazetted when are in the laws according to the Human Rights Act. After that, they're supposed to put on a name, what they call public scrutiny, for make somebody look at and say, Patricia not fit to be commissioner because of X, Y, and Z. And after that, rigorous process, they will take about two weeks. We're not getting a complaint will come up. After that, we five where they are so right now as commissioners, we're seated now, we've been presenting ourselves again before the parliamentary committee on appointments. We also go through a very rigorous interview where at the end of the day, lead to we approve on the parliament and also we finally swear out and begin work on the 11th. So I want to make everybody know now, say the set of commissioners and now they're actually legally seated. But if you go back to the Commission's Act, now I come back to the question where you say, if we'll be facing at the right thing. Me now will touch on that because it already fall within the purview. But if you go back to the Commission Act, you get clear provisions them. Where they, they, where they show say, as a commissioner, you're not for do this or you're not supposed to do that. If so if you become victim or you flout one of those rules as a government, then the right to pull you. Within so a day inside it. Within a society we we plenty in the way they do when you get public appointments or dinner, even private public institutions them, you always get bashing from the public where for your activities where they do. And mostly they relate people into political parties or political activities. How you get for manage you been accused of being party operative for uh, for instance or being biased i ever manage them talking them with the job way you come for do first of all most any way somebody tell you get forget evidence for substantiate that like when you say me being party operative i mean waiting on your evidence me as i speak now i want to give the opportunity to every single union for go around to the office of all political parties in this country make them see if patricia does so that they are registered may not to a member of any political party, but one thing safe I get for very make clear is that everybody we all 18 years in this country, you get a right to political participation. You get a right for vote and you also get a right to be voted for. So then they make it very clear. Of course I get a right for vote. You understand? But that not me say because I vote mean an active member of a political party. No. So you see, I don't get anything in the case for manage anything because how you bring and come, I don't find myself in that situation yet. So, so like I you. can't have to serve the people of this country. The Human Rights Commission, not for everybody, not for one single person. So what's in your background in terms of issues we get for do with human rights? Well, first of all, you know, the Human Rights Commission came into existence since uh, 2004. And when it take up effective operations between 2007 to 2008, Patricia had been the, they among the first set of employees for the commission. I've actually taken five years in the commission, and during that period, they are able to work in all of the directorates, first of all, before I left the country. Patricia done do several professional training on various human rights thematics, but apart from that, I mean, I graduated from Frobe College, I'm University of Sierra Leone, then I get my first, uh, my master's degree in development planning and management, from Nkrumah University and also University of Dortmund in Germany. I also don't do several professional training on various human rights thematics. And as I speak now, I also pursue a course in international human rights law. And I they do that for make it put me in a situation where I go able to tackle much more complex human rights issues that we have to face with. 
Earlier, we did talk. You mentioned, say, apart from resource mobilization, we are one pan the targeted area them under your administration. You mentioned again, say, human rights education for duty bearers. Yeah. Now, one way you see as a major thing for mm -hmm. help protect and promote yeah. people and human rights. Yes. What approach you want for use for able for tackle this? That the first of all, I talk about the legal literacy, and I make them very clear, say, states get responsibility. But if you your responsibility, where you get, me way for enjoy that responsibility. They because of your intervention, Miss Sabiam, but you know Sabiam, and because you know no am, I know put in the position for enjoy them. So we legal literacy, so they make them very robust for make sure say we take along the one that we not charged with the responsibility for serve the people of this country and for make sure say they become committed to the state obligations. Then I want to what they do. Then again, secondly, uh, the Human Rights Commission over the years they be done the one, but I think say we for really intensify the way we will do that. We always, at the end of every year, I mean, publish the state of human rights reports. And we can find out, say, now when we they go for, what well, we don't publish the human rights report, that's how they begin to engage stakeholders, them on the recommendations. <coughs> then what they not know. So, me own strategy, what would they use now is? What would they plan for use now is? Or what we don't even begin to use? Now, as we they go into the field, with the issues that they come up, when they get findings, when they begin at that time, they now for begin engage the one they with concern for make sure they address the issue them. We not they wait for the last minute and tell the person say, now this we don't find that where the person said we don't do your own budgetary allocation. So as we they go in the process, we they along you along the line, we we they, we they take you along the line. So at the end of the day, when we factor some recommendation into the report, you now go they go get the political buy in for make sure say they implement the recommendations. Then. So now mm -hmm. one thing that will be good, we not go divorce ourselves totally from the one that we're responsible for make sure say we implement we, we recommendation implemented. Continue for the routine of the program in name na Patricia Naso Danema we na the chairperson of the Human Rights Commission. We go for a short music break. When we come back, we continue with more discussion. Look where Uncle Nat in World Solid. 
Look in block the way they pitch for them, where they serve solid, and that is the same amount of cement and sand sand than they use for beat me on. But look what in the happen, me wall down for them, all the block they all don't scatter. It all like some kind of magic they be in this. You want to know the magic be in this? Now the superior quality, extra strong, extra life, and extra yield cement we are the use, and that's not Dangote. 3x Portland limestone cement. Dangote cement, na the highest grade cement in the country. We na 42.5 R grade cement. We no one day come na this country. And na one of the highest grade pan cement where you go get na the wall. Where you want your concrete, wall, and block solid, use Dangote 42.5 R cement. You no go regret them. You go get Dangote 42.5 R cement na all the sharp and building material store na the one old country. The program is still a listen to na Good Morning Salon and before that commercial break they will be listening to justice when I support they do for win the program and we want for let people and get justice now that makes today we get a person for the Human Rights Commission na Salon and a day they tell you about the commission in work and with the plan for the administration. When they come back to them, maybe just quickly look at one pound headlines to read them. Outside the president, Julius Madabio, don't promise for Gilan to eat African American them. We don't come back for improve the country because still show see them people and been come out salon and go bond in America. Well President we talk this with the Ministry of Tourism together with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Immigration Department, another body them go present them people here to Ramna State House after one work away then do na different parts of the country. Mohammed Sheriff gets more on this and gonna report. Early the 16th century, some European merchants then be the come to the coastal parts na Africa for by slave them and travel through the Atlantic Ocean so they are Europe. And be later, be the sudden slavery na the New World, where they now call America. Who said in slavery, be they work for the Wanda E. Kuza, Mabundo, Aturo M. White, Jibao, Christy Y. West, Nyale. And then people are get their name and I want traditional ceremony inside Bo. After we then DNA should say that the southern region then come out. But how then people are able to find out their route after then DNA? My name is Ali Akago, Travel Director, Tourism is Life Tours. Now all this started in Germany on the 7th of March when we had our election. I left and went to Germany to market Sierra Leone and I was introduced to Madame Eugenia Chinsman because all along Madame Chinsman has been sending African American to Ghana and I told her Sierra Leone is very safe. Sierra Leone can host Sierra Leoneans because she said she had a lot of Sierra Leoneans who want to come back and since then I've been making series of strides. I met with the Minister of Tourism, Madam Memona Tuprat, and she helped me coordinating everything together with the National Tourist Board, the Chief Immigration Officer, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Airport Authority. All these people come together and they put a very, very good effort to make sure that this thing happens. And according to the team lead, see, in focus now now for bring salon people and within our country together and come back now the country. Shavana Frazier, Mama Yata, we're already planning to 2020. I'm just gonna take this as a blessing from God and just basically be an, an ambassador for the country. Don't believe what the media in America portrays. My goal now is to bring everybody here so that they can have the same feelings that I feel. That's my objective. So how many of you personally are in the country? Oh, there was a total of eight. Where did they talk for welcome then salon people here? Yeah? The president, Julius Madabio, call on then salon people here yeah, for come and use their experience for develop the country. This moment is so significant for us all. We cannot do anything much about it. What has happened, we regret it. We don't like it. It's in history. But let that history serve as something to inspire us to know that we can do better things to make the future better for us and our kids. We are eager to make sure that we reconnect with our brothers and sisters out there in the diaspora. This is a new administration. We are determined and we want you to come back with the expertise, with the experience, with the knowledge and everything that you have so that we can bring that to bear on our situation back home here. President Bio end up assure them for Gideon land. We then go don't go and come back now the country. We will work out the modalities to make sure that the next time you are here, we allocate land to you too. You build your own houses and then uh, be a part of 
what you are really supposed to be. We want everybody to come back. We have enough space for all of you. So I'm really heartened by what has happened today, that we are able to offer you the passport that you've been missing. But the democracy been asked them, some party experienced them, within come the country. I'm just so overjoyed to be representing my maternal family here in Sierra Leone, learning so much. On the first day that we arrived off the plane from the National Dance Troupe, we've uh, visited many cultural sites, had traditional food. Mamundo is my Mende name. My experience has been going to Bokakua was phenomenal. I qualified myself as a Mende by dancing with the village and the drummers. Uh, cooking, helping to prepare the meal was so wonderful. So you enjoyed that one? Yes. Then the renaming ceremony was very emotional. William Robinson, the Deputy Minister of Tourism and Cultural Affairs, been telling me the economic benefits we this get on Salon and Salon people. Well, one of the benefits is that uh, tourism is able to generate income for that, where it will able to spread to hundreds and thousands of Sierra Leoneans. The other benefit is that uh, whenever they are here, whatever they have got over there, they will want to come and do some small development into our country. Then Salon people are with Bona America end up as your president here in the public sea, then go come back and support government program and projects them. For the Society for Ready Democracy, Hamid Sharif, the report. The program Good Morning Salon, they continue. They come back to the chairperson for the Human Rights Commission, when a Patricia Nasu Danema, there this morning for Terry, but they think them away in leadership. They bring come to the commission for continuing for protect people and rights. And let we look at the operations of human rights defenders. Then we get so many of them out there now, where people they set up organizations, we in the name of the defense for people and human rights. How you go compare the work with them people and they do to so that of the functions of the commission where UNA get the mandate for protect and promote people and human rights? First of all, I just use this opportunity now for even say thank you to them for the good work with some of them they do out there. If you go back to the commission and act, it make it clear say the commission not for work in isolation. You get for work with other institutions them where they intervene in the field of human rights. So the work where they, they do they it really, really good, and the commission appreciates that. But one thing I get for me very clear, people that they get a lot of mistakes with the Human Rights Commission and other organizations or institutions the way they do. The Human Rights Commission, now the national body, where the government get the power for making take the lead role for push and promote human rights business in this country. And as I said, talk so now, approximately one week ago, the Human Rights Commission, they are part of the Human Rights Working Group. And we don't make it clear, I said, the new dimension will they take now. We get a lot of groups that out there, and one person, they do virtually everything. So we they try for see now, how we try, get for bring civil society organizations there together, especially the one where they intervene in the field of human rights. Make all my categorically tell me whose particular thematic you deal with, so that we able to see when the commission get issues in terms of women, in terms of children, in terms of disabled person, we go exactly know who that we go contact. So we, for now, I virtually go say, we get a good relationship with most of them. And we plan for work with them when a part of the new strategy they will try for put in place. Because if you watch her again, the Human Rights Commission, we know they're all over the country. So we actually depend on also the groups and they, from them different locations where the commission you are not the reach, for me they also input information where they can pass on to we in most cases where we still can try for verify before we actually put on our report. So how possibly um, take complaint to the Human Rights Commission? Well, when I start for talk, I say we get various directorates. We get we complaint registry. We fall under the directorate of investigations, complaints, and legal services. So if you get complaints of human rights abuse or human rights violation, you can come to the Human Rights Commission, where we offices then then at the four regions. Before I answer a question, I'll just use opportunity. If you're there around Waterloo area, within a Finley Lane, Finley Street, Waterloo, if you're there Blama, we we'll go Blama Road, we also then uh, Kenema. Then we also then uh, 65 Baboka Road and 13 Railway Line, we then Abo. All of the offices, then we we'll go with complaints units. And when you get complaints about human rights, you go to the commission, you ask for the registry, the lodge complaint. And when they lodge complaint, and as I said the last time, we get complaints that were admissible and we're not admissible. If they complain for them within the jurisdiction of the commission, we they look at them. But again, if you complain not admissible, meaning enough order within the jurisdiction, we get referral partners them. 
where we they refer you to and the Human Rights Commission team go monitor and for make sure say at least you are able to get some redress for the issue where you carry it. How now so relationship? How now relationship with other institutions then? The commission get a very good relationship most with many institutions. Because as I say just now we get a lot of referral policy them. Where we can't work in isolation. If you look for example, you get the office of the ombudsman where that they deal with administrative injustice. And as I speak now, you get cases that we don't come out for the office of the ombudsman where they refer to the human rights commission. That means we get a very good relationship because if we not get them, they're not going to do such. We still say they get case them. What we they take from we side, we refer them to other partners, there, especially if you know, as I can say, if you're not for them with, within a jurisdiction. Now say if somebody can report case of murder. I know that not a right to life issue, not human rights concern, but not a matter where police go deal with. So the police commission, the, the, the human rights commission, will document that case day and, find, uh, 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 and forward them to the police and also monitor and for make sure the person get justice. And the commission is again many, many functions. And just as you ask me, so the complaint virtually in a one. Since now in the national body, we're supposed to lead human rights issue in the country, we they investigate as you call the case. Then again, we also they inquire into what you know what they mean. For example, yesterday, so as I pick up paper, now I see an incident about where one teacher at a school seriously beat one mobile for mobile phone. Because we see on a paper, the commission they put a small team now at the level of Bo for go do further investigation in that matter. Day. So not to pass somebody out and complain at the commission of the watch and If we say see issues them, when a human rights concern, we they investigate, we they dig into that. Then also the commission, we get also one main function when I for raise awareness on human rights issues in the country. Because you, as with the most, you get a lot of people them. They're not even waiting at their rights. So I'm going to tell you, say, I know. But when team beat to them, when they go tell them, so now, go let like, go for the complaints in the human rights commission when they help you. They're not even doing nothing way. They're for fet, they're, they're for them, them for somebody for help them fet. So then self now with the race awareness, make them really understand the rights. Now I make as I say, the one they were not able to commission, the commission recently put in place what they call mobile complaint team, where not to all my global kind of office. So then be the move now to six districts. We don't know six districts. When I they go into them villages then they and make announcements before, and we don't get a lot of success from the intervention. How they often part they, of they the do commission. this? How often the mobile team they go out? When the mobile team has said now for the last six, we don't do six districts, and then they don't stop recently for the last six months. Because like every week, depend, many they go up No, they not they go every week. Now, like a once for month for the last six districts, the way they use. Because that in a program where in a, in a program we supported, and because we run out of funds, we do not look for more funds for see how we right. take that day because we they really get positive results from such an intervention. All right. Then again, I'm not for talk say. One main function will get us now for get periodic reports, just as I say. The the this Sierra Leone in itself seven a party to several conventions. And after every four years, you the sister that they ask you say, What is the status of women? What is the status of children or disabled person? We get for right then can report today. Now we call periodic reports, we also they play that role. We get a lot of functions, those with the work with government, with the public publish reports on the human rights situation of the country, with the lays with society organizations, police, we get a whole lot of things that we do. But right. we'll find another session for let we can elaborate elaborate on the work of different directorates at the commission. We wish you a good with the opportunity. All right. We will come back to you. Let me just quickly look at message M, where listeners they don't send, that the text line and the Facebook page. The very first one I look at, the person say, Madam Patricia, please open eyes on police and land issue act and land issues whenever they are executing their duties. It comes from Yankee Nabelia Kompana This This one will get a rape and early marriage as serious issues, especially in the provinces. What are your um, success stories? This is a message to Madam Human Rights Commissioner. Congratulations on your appointment. Hope you will look into the cases of Human Rights Commission, Human Rights Commissioners that we are unlawfully fired. It is their human right to be protected. And to be protected as a commission, hope you will look into their matter for justice to prevail. It comes from Mystic. This one says cocoa production and rice and other crops will grow in abundance when we bring our jobless youth back to our chiefdoms to engage in agriculture. No need for soil to import rice. We saw a message say, good morning, Madam Commissioner. Congratulations on your appointment. What is the strength of the commission in the provinces? Be because the major activities are being implemented in Freetown. This one is a waiting change of name gets to do with country development. All right, so we look at more messages where Una don't send at the program. This one we may go look at now. Say good morning, 
I have a problem with regards to the ACC. With regards to the... Okay, we're not getting any issue I will do this morning, but the ACC. Okay, this one they say, Madam Commissioner, how the rights of persons with disability is handled by the Commission, whether or not they have special mechanism to handle or not. This is not a question with the person they ask. If we not get special way for handle issues we get for those persons with disability. The final one we may go look at now because of time. The person said I want to challenge the Human Rights Commissioner that the Act of 2004 of the Commission does not support her statement to remove a Commissioner as, pres as the President did. And, um, and the person continue for say the person continue to say to a uh, to uh, the, the person continue for say they should it should have been done through a tribunal or a parliamentary two third approval. How can you fight human rights violations when you are you cannot explain this for us? It comes from more like Kanu Conte na Mal Malikia. And this um, final one, we have to take this. Agriculture is the backbone to any country development. So, Leonians, we should start to, we should start growing cocoa, which will bring income to the government. All right, from the message, and we come to the commissioner just now for a response on a concern there. Well, let me just quickly listen to today's segment of Waka this recharge, police recharge, well done, put more pants on. He say, hey, he say, no, he say, don't tap relief. Now, he say, say what? Now, he say, say, you know, he recharge, he say, you know, go stop for broke traffic, he know, go stop for get convoy. And then get the right, now, he right, now, he I'm <laughs> From Akabot, we come back now the studio and we they come back to the commissioner and chairperson for the Human Rights Commission, we in a Patricia Nancy Danema. We listen to a message and where people don't send and we get the opportunity now for comment to them, especially one we get for do with the past commissioner them at the Human Rights Commission where people say they feel dissatisfied. How sets of people like that one in the their human rights could be looked into if they're not feel satisfied at all? Well, first of all, that's a very important question the person ask. But what I want to make very clear is that we all get we, we jobs that what they do. Then we get certain issues that we're not for them inside William Purview. So, and I believe say, the appropriate authorities, they don't get that particular question they, and are then well placed for answer them. But apart from that, as human beings, I think, say, we all get the rights. When you feel aggrieved about something, you get various forms of redress mechanisms then, where you go use for air out your grievances and make sure, say, your case addressed. Now, that number me get for, say, in relation to the commissioners then, where, where they remove. May not go able for fully elaborate on that. But if they, if they case the commission. Then, 
Yeah, when I get them pull for puts on, and I go look into them. If they are case rich, into the commission, go look into them because the commission they discriminate. The doors open for any complaint we come. We can't say the commission. We for them. We think we pull the commission. So, go look so at from them. a background on human rights issues, the young situation, it fall on that thing. Then where the commission for looking to? If you fall on that thing, where commission for looking to? Yes. Now that I make it clear. When I even be explain, if you go back to the commission the act. You get issues that we highlight. You get provisions that we highlight. On our commissioners can be removed. So then they remove them to the right procedures. Well, and they go back to the point for say responding to that question adequately, not fall within my purview. You get the appropriate authorities them. We go give better answer to such a question. But I still they insist on the fact say we all get the rights. We get the right for pursue issues that we think say we're not satisfied with to the appropriate authorities. And then secondly, I see somebody also ask a question about the strength of the commission. That's not a very serious question the person asks. Because since I take up office, that's not one of the first analysis we do in terms of staff, staff strength. If you look at the commission now, for me, we become full-blown in the field. We need 190 staff. And for now, Human Rights Commission only gets 60. And you get to look at that from the point of view, we actually now get four regional offices. When they self on the staff, and some of the offices that just don't two staff then they did. And we get a lot of issues that we can almost then staff then they will be able to. So now that now one of the areas also said they look at. So the commission they try for see how they're going to able to add or even beef up the staff in the field for make them able to for respond to the lot of cases them when they come to them. On the issue of the disability, the commission under the directorate of monitoring and research, we get the disability unit. But we also get to look at and see. Commissions, they all now stand on their own. You also get the commission we don't set up for deal with disabled people. We just get that unit there. If we get cases where they come from, people that were physically challenged, we self can see how we got addressed. We've got a full blown uh, commission with they for that. But we self get unit for because now we they cover all the rest of the country. So we still get a small unit for that. So with the controversy we surround on our appointments and approval in our parliament, we up to now the 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 minority leader in the parliament, then still a question on our approval and appointment. What do they expect from salon people in terms of trust on our operations? Where big question marks still they on an appointment? As far as I'm concerned, all the five commissioners then right now, they're legally seated. Because for the fact that you go through parliament, parliament approve on her. I mean, it means you really not get issue again. And as I say, the we go actually go through the full process to become a commissioner for Human Rights Commission. When you be asked me the first question, I tell you first, they may put out an advert. And I clearly remember, say, that was on Global Times. Where the advert, they ask, say, on a nominate competent persons then for occupy the position as commissioners for the commission. And for the fact that such an advert come on, it give a clear indication for, say, there were vacancies. So people were nominated, then go through the process of interviews, at the office of the attorney general, then go in the parliament, they approve them, and they swear on oath. So I don't feel, say, any controversy around that But section. the main, the, 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 the main opposition, when are the All People's Congress, APC party, mm -hmm. then still gets issues with una approval in the parliament, yeah. and then self, now then get the majority in the parliament. Yes. Then get no, issues, now that's what they ask. And they ask now, say, mm -hmm. if una still feel satisfied on a position and they continue for work, being that then kind people and they, when are the majority in a parliament, still a question on appointment? Well, you see, just as I say, Sierra Leone is one country. And we'll get for look at certain situations, then say, I mean, in the current political situation where we get that this country, you're not going to forget 100% support in anything we do. But what it be still emphasize on that, we are not illegally seated. We are legally seated following the fact that we follow all the procedures the way for make you become human rights commissioner. Ma Madam, Madam, in relation to what he says so into this text message, say I want to um, challenge the chairperson of the Human Rights Commission that the Act of 2004 of the Commission does not support her statement to remove the commissioners as President Bill did. It must go through a tribunal and parliamentary two-third approval. How can you fight human rights um, violation when you cannot explain this? It comes from more like Kano Conte. I still like, go back to the point, say, we get certain issues that we're not for them with you. The set of commissioners that we get now, they're legally seated, then go through the procedures. That question, they will be properly handled by the appropriate authority. And I will not elaborate further on that. Now, let me uh, um, look at 
um, the commission mostly when you do human rights act even though not for the good of the people but again they get written by the international bodies within the commission they do now for continue because for example the greatest status country in Africa big country they will not even reach them possibly Salon and Ghana they but country like Nigeria not even they within what they do now for work with the international bodies we go make the country human rights status continue for the in line with the principles that we salon don't sign with other states. First of all, if you don't ask me this question, I'll address them. And as a council, now I want to make all my notes say, even the network for national human rights institutions, as soon as we take up office, all the commissioners have been introduced and they don't give we an open hand for say they're ready for work with me. No matter what in people have been say don't happen at the international level, we don't get good relationship with all of that. And apart from that stuff now, you get for even look at donor support. We get several situations in our way. Donors that even they call we all over the place for saying we let for further continue for do business with the human rights commission. So that now one sign for say we relationship out there, it already built and we try with the trainer for maintain that. We get very good relationship. And because uh, we not get no reaction it from international committee in relation to we appointment. And uh, earlier on we did say start to work now the commission for a long term now, it don't be continued to this stage. Mm -hmm. Um, quickly, I could describe your working relation. I you didn't enjoy the job being a human rights. You know, first of all, human rights work that you have the passion for. As I be don't say, we start the commission and they recruit me in 2008. Then I've actually worked in all the directorates of the commission. We make I fully understand how the commission operates. And because my passion has shown over the years, when the African Union and even ECOWAS and the Network for National Human Rights Institutions. Then decide say we for choose one Sierra Leonean for go help with the human rights situation in Mali. That mean that all the commission been been nominated. And I want for you this opportunity again for openly say thank you to those who ask me for go on that assignment by then. You understand? So it's my passion. I'm in it, and that's why I really came back for make sure say myself can contribute towards a people and the enjoyment of rights inside the country. Right. And I get a very good relationship with almost all the staff of them. Because you get for look and time for say over six years and not been the new ones they don't come where I not really know. But now they try for establish my relationship with them. My very good working relationship. Because what's important is now I go able to put the staff them together for push they will go before. All right, plenty. Yeah. Thank you, we join me at the program this morning. Patricia Nasu Danema, the chairperson for the Human Rights Commission. Thank you, we can have the program. Thank you very much. And we don't stand open on account on a complaints. We're ready for handle them. Thank you very much. Now, this edition of the program, Good Morning Salon Golefuna. Plenty. Thank you to the producer, them Michael Sambola and Alex Owens Kroma produce the program. DJ Lava, we give you technical support. Moses Kavra and team make you see we live na Facebook. So till we meet again, maybe I'll come back get yourself a wonderful day. Goodbye. I mean, Alex, I'm going to forget to listen to me this show at 12.